Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. It's been a while since I did a review of anything, really. It's been a long time since I did a Southern Tier. We have a new Southern Tier Blackwater Series stout. This is the Chocolate Orange. Using my official Southern Tier chocolate goblet. I've had this for a couple years. You know, as you can see, Black Hue had about, you know, a thumb thumb of head there. This, you know, flared, flared snifter. You know, 10% ABV. I thought it'd be a little bit more foamy than this, but, you know, that's fine. Give it an aroma here. Wow. Wow. It's just like all, it's like chocolate syrup. Just like really sweet milk chocolate. Enough talking, more drinking. Let's get into it. Cheers. Well, as soon as it hit my lips, I was just thinking, you know, this tastes just like regular Southern Tier chocolate. I would imagine that the recipe is probably identical or almost identical to regular chocolate and then they just just add the orange peel which is like kind of like warlock which is basically starting to your pumpkin and they just throw some black patent malt in there and i think a couple other dark malts but um yeah so i mean if you're familiar with southern tier chocolate and you should be because it's you know pretty pretty readily available by now um you know this is just like drinking liquid it's like chocolate syrup or it's like a really High end, like like really uh, high percentage cocoa, uh, more milk chocolate because it's very sweet. It's not like the deep dark bitter chocolate. The orange kind of is like real subtle. It's kind of just like riding there on the bottom, like for the whole first half, and then once it crests, once I start to actually swallow it, the orange comes out more. And like, like I said with the aroma, it's like a little bit almost like minty. Um, and it's almost like like a slight like acidic kind of flavor of like, you know, like orange juice. Um, the flavor of orange juice, like it doesn't taste juicy, like like Steigl Rattler or uh, Ballast Point, or yeah, Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpt, and it's nothing like juicy like that. This is uh, just like an orange, like orange peel kind of spicy thing going. Very kind of pretty thick, pretty tepid mouthfeel. You know, it's not a crisp beer at all. Um, it actually leaves, you know, pretty clean aftertaste. Like, it's not, you know, it's not sticking to my tongue or gums or teeth or anything like that. I mean, there's a little bit of residual kind of a hoppy, hoppy aftertaste. So, yeah. I mean, basically, this is drinking exactly like regular chocolate but with that kind of subtle orange peel it's interesting um i mean you can kind of look at it two ways is it an improvement over the original or is it just like a different interpretation of the original speaking of the original it's in my book the handbook of porters and stouts right here on page what page is on 249 southern tier chocolate right next to sexual chocolate and this thing actually got three pages like this page and then a two-page spread where they have the old and the new label. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a break. You guys can check out an ad for this book, and we'll be back with my final thoughts. Cheers. Hey, craft beer drinkers, have we got a book for you, The Handbook of Porters and Stouts. This book documents the greatest examples of dark beer available on the market today, from old-world traditional brews to American craft breweries pushing the boundaries of what dark beer can be. You'll learn about the origins of the styles, as well as the brewers behind the beer. Available in bookstores November 11th, or pre-order from Amazon at a discounted rate today. Come to the dark side with the Handbook of Porters and Stouts by Josh Christie and Chad Polenz. All right, I'm back finishing up the Southern Tier Chocolate Orange. I wasn't going to do this, but they actually make a point of recommending this on their website. It says, um, delicious dessert beer, which I agree with, perfect alone or enjoyed as a float. Scoop organic vanilla bean ice cream into a snifter or pint glass and top with chocolate orange. It's impossible to be disappointed. Well, I actually had some vanilla ice cream in the fridge, so I did put a little scoop in there. I've never actually done a beer float before that I can remember. Like, am I just supposed to drink it, like... Mm, the ice cream didn't really... It didn't really affect the flavor of the beer at all. Let's see how the beer affects the flavor of the ice cream. 
It's weird. It's bringing out the orange more. Um, yeah, I mean, that was fun, but I wouldn't do it all the time. Anyways, let's rate this on rape beer. Get the window up here. All right, for aroma, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go 10 out of 10. Like, you saw me when I smelled that. I went, wow. Like, if, if I'm going, wow, like, that's the sign of, like, a really great smelling beer. 10 out of 10. Uh, for appearance, I think I'm only going to go... Well, I mean, this isn't really a, a fair way to judge it, but... I'll probably go about a 3 on appearance because it had only about a finger ahead. And you... Even before I put the ice cream in here, it wasn't really leaving any lacing. Um, that's basically what I judge appearance on is foam and, well, if it's too spec and things like that, carbonation. But, you know, 10% Imperial Stout, it's opaque. It's supposed to be dark like that. Really, all you can go go by is your foam and lacing. Uh, for taste, I'm going to go 9 out of 10. Uh, I don't really think that the orange improves it any over the original chocolate. I probably like it neat better than with the orange. I mean, the orange is just an interesting, interesting way. It just, it's like a remix of a song or something. It doesn't mean that it's better than the original. It's just a, a different interpretation of it. Uh, for palette, I think I'll go four out of five. This is 10% ABV, although it didn't have any like alcohol burn or warmth or anything. It actually is really drinkable. It's like that kind of minty minty flavor on the finish. I like it. I liked it much better on tap. Uh, overall, I'm going to go, let's say, 18 out of 20. And not even that might be a little generous. That's a, that's a 4.4 on rape beer scale, which is a 9 out of 10 on my scale. It's a very high 9. It's not quite the full 10 out of 10, you know, world-class beer. But I, I think it's, you know, for what it is, it's still really good. Let's get some more in the glass there. Yeah, see, now the glass is just all foam because of the ice cream. But, anyways, uh, yeah, so Southern Tier Chocolate Orange, um, 9 out of 10 from me, Chad, Chad's Beer Reviews. It's an excellent beer. It was uh, less than $10 at the beer store. So, I mean, I definitely recommend trying. If you like regular Southern Tier Chocolate or any of their. Their Blackwater series, you're gonna like this, but um, you know, I, I think I like the original, but a little bit better. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.